Hey everybody, it's me, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, and I'm here to teach you guys. Do you guys know what time it is? It's time, it's time, it's time for the big idea. That's right, the big idea. So here's what we're gonna do. On the count of three, I want everybody to jump to their feet and yell big idea as loud as you can. On the count of three, ready? Get ready to jump up and yell big idea as loud as you can, ready? On the count of three, one, two, three, ah! big idea! Yes, that's right. And our big idea for today is God is with me wherever I go. Repeat after me, say, God is with me wherever I go. That's right, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So, how many of you guys wanna be superheroes? Raise your hand. How many of you guys think it'd be so awesome to actually fly in real life? Wouldn't that be so cool? All right, so here's what I want everybody to do. Get in your flying positions just like this, okay? Like you're getting ready to fly right through the air. All right, and you're gonna be moving around just like this. You can start moving around. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say the big idea, God is with me wherever I go. And whenever we say God is with me, we're gonna make sounds like we're flying through the air like this. Just like that. So God is with me wherever I go. Okay, here we go. On the count of three, kids ready? Get in your flying positions, get ready. Here we go. One, two, three. God is with me. Wherever I go. Whew. Man, that was awesome. You guys did such a great job. But since we're talking about God being with us, wherever we go, let's get in running positions. Like we're about to run a race. We're just going to go running and God is going to be with us wherever we go. Get ready to run, okay? We're just going to be running in place and we're going to say it as loud as we can. All right? Here we go. One, two, three. God is with me. Wherever I go! Oh! Whoa! Man, you guys did such an awesome job. Remember, God is with me wherever I go. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you next time. This is Joshua. Hello. Joshua was an Israelite who followed Moses through the wilderness. One, two, three, here we go. Oh, hey Joshua learned from Moses as Moses led the Israelites through the Red Sea. And as Moses taught the people about God's law. Hello. Oh, yeah. I see. Hello, oh, listen up. One day, Moses was talking to the Israelites. He was reminding them of the law and all that God had done for them. Yeah, I'll be here, all you. When Moses had finished giving instructions to the people, he said, I am no longer able to lead you. Hold on. Do not be afraid, for God will neither fail you nor abandon you. Yeah. Then Moses called Joshua Me? and told him to be strong and courageous, for he would lead the Israelites into the promised land. Well, see? Then Moses died. Uh... To this day, no one knows exactly where he was buried. The people and all of Israel mourned. Oh. The people of Israel looked to Joshua to lead them, as Moses had told them. There he is. Yeah. God told Joshua to be strong and courageous, for he would be with Joshua wherever he went. Ah. He told him to remember what Moses had told him and to study the book of instruction. Ah. God told Joshua that it was time to lead the people of Israel across the Jordan River and into the Promised Land. Okay, here we are. Joshua told the Israelite officials to go throughout the camp. Get out there. They instructed everyone to pack up and get ready to head out. Ah. Joshua told the Israelites they were going to cross the Jordan River. See here, this is what we're gonna do, okay? <gasps> and so, 
Joshua prepared to lead his people as the Lord had commanded. Oh, hey. Joshua was the leader of the Israelites, who God used to bring his people to the promised land. Yeah, let's do it. When God told Joshua it was time to take the promised land, Joshua sent spies into the city of Jericho. While those spies were in Jericho, Come on. they were protected by a woman named Rahab. <laughs> Spies promised to spare Rahab and her family when they took back the land. Yay! And she hung a scarlet cord from her window to remind them of their promise. See you soon! Now the Israelites had crossed the Jordan and were camped near the town of Jericho. Hey! Hello! One day, Joshua looked up, huh? and there was a man standing before him. Hello! The man said, I am the commander of the army of the Lord. Joshua asked what the man wanted to tell him, and the Lord said he wanted Joshua to take the city of Jericho, All right. but that Joshua needed to follow his instructions exactly. You got it. Jericho was shut for fear of the Israelites. Yeah, well, huh? yeah, well. No one came out and no one came in. So the Lord told Joshua to gather his soldiers and march around the city for six days. The priests were to take the Ark of the Covenant and seven priests were to go in front of it, blowing a ram's horn. On the seventh day, they were to march around the city seven times and blow the horn. Then all the people of Israel were to give a great shout and then the city walls would fall. Well, yeah, let's do it. So Joshua said, Shout for the Lord has given you the city. And the people did shout. Yeah! And the walls did fall. Let's go! The Israelites overtook the city of Jericho as God had commanded. They remembered Rahab because of her faithfulness. Joshua was faithful in carrying out God's commands, and the Israelites took many other cities as God told them they would. Oh, nice. For God will never fail to fulfill his promises. So the Israelites came to live in the land that God had promised Abraham, Isaac, Israel, Joseph, and Moses many years ago.
in every voice. You ready? Cause there's just one thing.